Hello everyone. In this quick video walkthrough, I'll be going over this uh, interactive virtual camera application uh, that is geared for teaching beginning photography concepts to hybrid and online uh, photography students. This website consists of five different lesson plans and um, each lesson plan uh, basically will cover a different setting on this interactive virtual camera. The first lesson plans are uh, beginning level and as the lesson plans advance basically the complexity of the application also advances to include more intermediate uh, to finally complete advanced setting. So in the first lesson plan uh, we're only going to be covering film speed setting. As you can see, um, I have three boxes here, and the aperture box and the shutter speed box are grayed out, and they're also locked. As you can see, it's indicated by a locked icon, which means that the only setting that I can change here is my film speed setting. So once I click here, basically you can see that um, the, the film speed box gets filled with the, whatever setting I picked. So for example, if I click on 800 speed film, uh, the, the, you can automatically see that the ISO field box uh, in the preview uh, window gets updated and the, the color indicator changes to red. And the other settings basically are inactive and they don't really work. Um, as you notice as well, um, when I click on the lower film speed numbers, the image tends to get darker, and the higher number basically uh, makes the image lighter and also makes it grainier, which means that the lower the number of the film speed, the less sensitive the film is to the sensor, to the camera sensor, which means that the lower speed films uh, would be ideal for brighter lighting conditions. Uh, and the higher film speed numbers would be ideal for darker lighting conditions. One other thing that's noticeable also in the higher speed film, you can see the image also gets a lot grainier. So your higher speed film automatically produces more noise. There's also another uh, drop down panel here that can also provide additional information in terms of how to use the application as well as more in-depth definition of what the film speed is. And there's also an image preview where you can see the ISO 1600, for example, uh, the image with, uh, that is shot with ISO 1600 is a lot lighter than the image that is shot with ISO 200. Um, so this first lesson plan, basically, we want to fully understand how film speed um, interacts with the um, lighting conditions. Um, in the next lesson plan, we'll be talking about the shutter speed setting. 